hey guys welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back so today so it's so today's video is a concept that I've been thinking about for a while and I'm deciding to call it the Cinderella Diaries why Cinderella you may ask so I wear a size of US 11 equivalent to a European 42 or 41 depending on the shoemaker and <clears throat> I know that when I find a shoe that's comfortable and fits, it makes me feel like a princess. One, a lot of brands don't even bother making size 11, or if they do make a size 11, it's cut too small. So the inconsistencies in the size 11, size 12 arena is very popular. Many brands are very inconsistent. A 42 in one brand could be equivalent to a 41. Um, or they just don't carry a size 11 at all and if they do carry a size 11 it's like one shoe so that's why when I see a shoe that I really like I just jump on it and then try it on see if I like it and keep it moving so this is a series let's see how long it lasts but I just figured it'd be fun to sh kind of show you guys um, a bit of my struggle and uh, I'm really really sorry for my women who wear size 12 and 13 my best one of my best friends wear size 12 and I mean, she knows the store she shops at, so who am I to be complaining? But I just figured this would be a fun series to share with you guys. So today I'm going to be showing four shoes, three of them from a very popular brand uh, that is very consistent with their size 11 and always has size 11s, multiples, and um, Zara. So let's get the show started. So the first shoe is from Sam Edelman and this is their just normal suede pump and I really like this shoe it's very comfortable it's just a nice you can wear to work um, heel so let me put these babies on so like I like I said uh, Sam Edelman is very um, true to size with their sizes especially 11s and they always have 11s I sometimes see 12s but not all the time. So, here is the first shoe. Bah, 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 bah. Um, I really like these. These are like if I'm gonna wear them to work or out in an event and I'm gonna be walking around, these are my go-to. So, the second shoe from Sam Edelman is their, ooh, I know the light is bright, but it's a patent leather. When I ordered them, I thought it would be a, uh, regular leather because I don't know I've been seeing a lot of people wearing white boots and I'm like oh let me give me some white go-go boots this season um but I won't lie I don't love them so I recently ordered them I got them never been worn don't love them um I'm not really crazy about white patent leather and not even that the um <clears throat> I have skinny ankles and calves and it's just too wide you guys will see in a second but it seems like a very comfortable boot if I was filling it, I would have kept them. But, you know, I just want to show you guys. So here is the boot. Um, oh, let me stay still. So you guys see the gap? Yeah. It's too wide of a gap for me. So I'm going to actually think about it. I might keep them. not sure yet. But just figured I'd show y'all. So my next shoe is their slide, which is similar, a knockoff to the Gucci Princeton, which I plan to get a black pair. Well, actually, I had a black pair that had the pink embroidered flower, but then I ended up selling it on eBay because I just realized it wasn't classic. It wasn't timeless enough with my style. That, And the reason why I got the embroidered flower version is because I was like, okay, it, it, the flower being embroidered there will help it not crease but now that I realize like I don't want anything embroidered there I just want simple black I'm gonna start with fur and then hopefully Santa will get me no, no no I'm gonna start without fur and then hopefully Santa will get me one with fur but I don't know if I could be com feel comfortable spending my own coins on their white version just because if it gets scuffed I'll be so sad but with black you can bang it around it doesn't matter so <clears throat> Here, and as you can see, 
there's even like a room in the back and this is an 11 like they're really really cute and they're very comfortable so um i'll try these out to see how i do with white loafers maybe like in the next three four years you know splurge on some white princeton's and last but not least this is a really popular shoe that um zara recently released um and this would have been my first shoe with like the acrylic and this is an example of uh the inconsistencies in sizing so for the most part zara well if it's sneakers a 42 normally fits me well dress shoes is either a hit or miss most times it's a miss but i wanted to have faith that these would work but guys um it says 42 on here oh and that's another thing sam edelman for their size 11 they put 41 on the box so it's just like the struggle lyrio and it's so funny because when i first ordered these i was like all right let me lather my feet with some cocoa butter to make sure my toes get all the way to the front um but these didn't work out <laughs> they're too small and like a part of me wants to say like oh nobody will notice but man i'm not about to be wearing shoes that are too small look guys see my feet is like literally hanging off this is not gonna work <sighs> i really really wish that it would have but these are gonna have to be returned but they're really really cute so if you're a 10 or a 10 and a half i would definitely recommend them but for my size 11 sisters um it's not gonna work so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the cinderella diaries and if you like it, leave a comment down below. Let me know if I should continue this. And I even want to do like a vlog where like you guys follow me into the store. I try on some shoes, see if it fits. Most likely it won't, but it's okay because it's all about the experience. But thank you guys for watching. See ya.